My Easter egg from P. Louise finally came in the mail. Now, if y'all didn't know, the budget box got an Easter egg as part of their monthly subscription. The only thing that was making me a little bit nervous was there are three different complexions that you can choose from regarding the Easter eggs and they have fair, medium, and deep. Y'all, some people are getting the wrong skin complexion for their budget box. They're ending up with a bunch of products that really won't look good on their skin tone, and that kind of sucks. Luckily for me, I got the medium complexion. I just think the names of these things are just so much fun. How do you like yours? I like mine hard to crack chick, which is just so much fun. First of all, let's get into this tin. I will be repurposing this, okay? I'm gonna put something in here. I don't know what, but I'm going to put something in here. You know what? I'm a little old lady. I could put sewing material in here. Everyone's going to think it's chocolate. No, it's sewing materials. Very, very cute. This is what the back looks like. When you open her up, this is what she's looking like. Hopefully these are biodegradable because look at them. They're so cute. Little hearts, little heart styrofoam. I'm going to need them to put stuff like this in all of their boxes. Okay. Don't just put it in the tin. Every single budget box needs something like this in it so that our stuff does not arrive broken. The first item that I'm pulling out is the Stay Shining Shimmer Formula. What is this? It's another lip oil. At least it's not the pack of three that we keep getting. Literally every single month, we've been getting lip oils by the three. I don't know how much lip oil y'all be running through, but I still haven't gotten through the first one that I opened. Think I have two more sitting in the pocket. It's just, this is too much lip oil. I'm gonna open up the box, but I'm not gonna do any swatches cause I'm gonna give this to my sister-in-law. I don't need another lip oil. Let's be serious. I'm lip oiled out, okay? I'm set for the next three years. But this is what it looks like. This is what the color is looking like. But I mean, when you put this on, it's gonna sheer out anyway. So you're not really getting this pigment. This one is called Moment to Shine. This is very, very cute. And I will be passing this along to my sister-in-law. Hopefully she like it. The next item is the Glossy and Glazed. What is this? All over body lace. Look, we got two of these either in the same box or over the course of two boxes. I don't need more glossy and glaze, nor do I need any more lip oil. Like, can we get other products in the box? So this, I'm gonna put off to the side for a giveaway, cause I'm not gonna, no. I already have two that I've tried out. I'm not gonna open up another one. Realistically, I'm not getting through all of this in the matter of the next summer or so. I'll be lucky if I get through this much of the product that I already have. For that reason, I'm gonna put this off to the side for a future giveaway. It is nice and safety sealed, so you will know I ain't been in your stuff. I'm just sick of the same products being in the boxes. Like, I understand, you know, you get variations, but it's like, I don't need the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. The next item is the Smooth It Over. Oh, why did I say over like that? Is the Smooth It Over and Airbrush It Out. This is in the color pink. And it is a smoothing primer. I mean, why not? <laughs> I'm always looking for a nice primer. I doubt it's the gel kind that I like. Hopefully that was satisfying. Ooh, this feels nice. I will say that this feels really nice. The packaging is absolutely adorable. Nice and safety seal. Okay. P. Louise always comes through with a good safety seal. Okay. If they're not going to do all the other stuff, they're going to do a safety seal. It's going to be sealed for safety. Now let's see what this is working like. I'm going to put this right here. Ooh, okay. A little dupe. It looks like a perfect little like Hershey's kiss, doesn't it? Cute little Hershey's kiss drop. Let's see what this rubs in like. It doesn't really have a scent to it, but I mean, it has a smell, but it's not like fragranced, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit sticky, but not too sticky. It's nice. It seems like it'll be a decent primer. Nothing to really write home about, but something to have. The next thing is Ready, Set, Shine Sweet Sparkle Setting Spray. So it's just like a tinted setting spray. This looks disgusting. The inside of this just looks like dirty water. <laughs> it looks like dirty, dirty, murky water. I don't know who approved that, but maybe it has some kind of like benefit. I don't know. I mean, it's a setting spray. It's tinted. So I don't know what that's going to look like. This is what it looks like. Let's see what it sprays like. 
It does have a scent, but not like a crazy scent. I don't even know what, what to describe that as. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just a setting spray. Like I said, nothing to really write home about. I'm not super excited about this. I don't really see much of a difference. Maybe I'll see a difference once I'm editing the video. Meh. Ooh, this is cute. The next item is Drive Me Balmy, and this is in the color My Addiction. And this is what the packaging is looking like. I think that is so cute. Okay, come through with the packaging. Packaging contents may be addictive. I think this is so fun. How do I open it without ruining it? Is the question. Because I told y'all, I'm obsessed with these packaging. I like to keep at least something from the box outside of just the box itself. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Let me show y'all. This is like kind of taped at the bottom, but when you open it up, it opens up like this. Isn't that fun? I think that is so cute. If I can get it out. The first thing kind of came undone already. I don't think this was screwed on right, or I don't know. I, I don't know. This is the Balmy For You, and it's just like a lip balm. Let's see if it has a smell. Wait, hold up. Hold the phone. You gotta squeeze a lot. Like you see how much I've squeezed this? Nothing's come out yet. Not a damn thing has come out of this yet. And I was squeezing it. So let me start at the bottom. So this is not filled all the way. They're doing some Dorito style packaging. Oh, it's really thick. It's very, very thick. So all this from here to here is just air, which I mean, that's still a decent amount of product. But me personally, I like when my stuff is all the way full. This is the color that you're getting. Wipe a little bit on. It's just it just looks clear. It has a color name, but it's just, it looks clear. It smells like chocolate. Hold up, hold the phone. Bruh, it smells literally like chocolate. I am here for it. I love chocolate. Chocolate is one of my favorites, okay? It's just, it's one of my favorites. Chocolate can do no wrong. And this smells like a chocolate bar. I just wish it was full more. Cause like, see all this is just squeezed out. There's not really much product in here, but it does smell really good. And then in this duo comes, I don't know what this is. What is this? Balmy for you. One more piece. What is this? Oh, okay. It's one of those cute little click pens. You like click it up. I don't want to click it up too much cause you can't put it back in. But yeah, it's one of those cute little click ups, which I think is so adorable. I actually don't own anything like that. Is this even gonna leave a pigment? I mean, there's a slight pigment there. This is the, the little click up pen. It has a slight little pigment to it, but nothing too crazy. You're not really gonna notice that this has a color to it. I feel like there's a hair on my lip, but I can't see it. I don't know where it is. I really was hoping they would come through with stuff that actually gives you pigments, something you can really play with. These are more just meh to me. I'm sorry, it's just, it's meh. I'm not too happy with these products. I'm just be honest. So hopefully the last item can save the day. What is that on my lip? Okay, I got it, I got it. It was like a little fiber. The last item in my box is the Dream A Little Dream Chock Full of Ambition Face Palette. And this is what it looks like. Again, the packaging is just absolutely stunning. I wanna get this open without destroying the packaging. So the outside looks just like the, the box. Very, very pretty. And these pans are thick. So this is probably a lot of product. Ooh. Oh yes, absolutely, thousand percent yes. So it comes with a cute little mirror. You have a bronzer, two highlights, and then a very perfect. Okay, y'all already know your your girl's a peachy girl. So I'm very happy that I ended up with the peach because there were other boxes and they had like a, I think a darker pinkish kind of color, and then one had I think like more of a purplish kind of pink. So I'm excited that I got this one because it has my peach. This bronzer looks like it'll work beautifully on my skin tone and then you got two highlights. Very excited for this one. I have highlights that look this color, but I don't have anything that is this shade. Ooh. And they have the very pretty embossment. I think that is absolutely stunning. And then you have the metal design on the outside. Let me do some swatches. I just, I don't want to touch it because it's so pretty, Ugh, but I am, I'm going to. Now this formula is a little powdery, but it seems to be very pigmented. So this one's like a blush lighter, like a blush highlight. This is what the little face palette is looking like. First, you have that golden kind of highlighter, then the bronzer, then the blush, and then the blush lighter. I think these are absolutely stunning. They're gonna look gorgeous on my skin tone. Very excited to try these out in the next try on video. And that was everything in my P. Louise budget box slash Easter egg. 
The only thing I'm very excited about is this palette. That's the only thing I'm excited about. Everything else in here, I'm just like, meh. This little duo set is cute, but it's not pigmented, right? It's just like more everyday kind of, you could just throw this on, makeup, no makeup, it doesn't really matter. I really look forward to, or at least what I've been wanting is heavy makeup, you know, things I could really play with. Face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, and just things that I can really, really play with. But so far for the last three months, there really hasn't been anything super exciting. The most exciting thing that I've received this entire time has been this, and I just got this. This box, I'm not too happy about. Hopefully the next box comes with some pigment, okay? Come with an eyeshadow palette or something. Something more than just freaking lip oils and body glaze. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.